Hello and welcome to Shabbat Tema in Tulshe. My name is Dana. How can I help you? <laughs> My name is Tim. Um, I'd like to speak to your manager, please. <laughs> um, I am the manager. I don't believe you. I have no manager. Is that uh, I don't believe you. Um, that introduction was blatantly racist. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't say blatant. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't want to incriminate yourself. I plead the fifth. <laughs> ah! Ah! Everything is paid. Yeah, this is this is starting to look a little dodge. No, it's it's not that hard. I just suck. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Though, really, really, fuck. Getting schooled. Okay. So I have to get over to this one. And then wait for him to get the fuck over here. Yeah. Here we go! Here it is, here it is, here it is. Fuck! Give me my head back! Yay. <laughs> got head. Jesus. Doesn't matter had sex. Doesn't matter got head. Yeah. Yeah. Now the next one is the hardest. Okay. It's like what, one platform? Nope. Two platforms? Nope. You'll see. No platforms? Yes. Uh oh. No. Yeah. What? Oh, I don't know. I was gonna make a bad joke, but then I aborted it like immediately. <laughs> you aborted it like an unwanted. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, it's... there. Daniel's now doing that too. Oh, it's bigger. That's what's different. Oh. He hits them and they go the fuck away. Which means whenever you see that bomb indicator, you move your ass. Which means the last one's gonna be the place you put it. Ah! This one. This one. I can't put it down because I don't have a head. Well, you just died. Oh, wait. Yeah! Yeah! That shit was real close. <laughs> that was pretty, uh... That was pretty, uh... That was somewhere between expert and novice. <laughs> Not between, like, just some kind of weird, I came out the other end. <laughs> like a bad fart. Jesus. A wet fart. <laughs> Yay! Um, let's see. Uh, fuck that head. <laughs> Open it, you fucking. Yay, Batsy! It's Bats. We have 19 lives. We're currently cruising along. Cruising along at a uh, comfortable 15,000 feet. <laughs> it's a Weaver! Oh no! Uh, 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 shit, I lost my head. Damn it! Damn it! Oh Jesus! Tiger drum, tiger drum, do 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 do. Yay! Eat a dick. He's just trying to do his thing, playing a little music, jamming out. I know, I'm such a dick. I'm You're just trying like to bomb his face. I should have right. cut him up. I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> HM1, motherfucker. HM1. Cut, 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 cut. Look at how fucked up he looks. He's, He's like, like ah, eh. Why would you do this? Why would anyone? Oh. Why would you Hi. do this? Ha Hi. Skelding I like how the narrator's making this seem more exciting than it really is at this point. Oh, shit. Shit. Ah, fuck that head. Yeah! Oh my god. Sometimes you just gotta... You gotta make sacrifices. <laughs> you, the bat you just uh, got? He knew what he signed up for. <laughs> you knew what this was! I feel <laughs> bad. This guy looks so sad. <laughs> He's like, I just wanted to be a Shogun drummer. <laughs> they wanted me to kill people. I can't tell you what I've seen. I can see that. Shit. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a you're doing this just because type game. Like Mario basically is. Yay! Well, you're trying to save the princess. Exactly. Or uh, what? In Mario? Yeah. Actually, the princess is a good fucking lead. Um, it's always. People always assume that Mario and Peach are an item, but it's never explicitly stated. I think Lady. I think in some of the later games it has been. Mm -mm. I could be wrong. Nope. 
Actually, I was watching a Game Theorist episode where they believe that, uh, that, you know, that, that time hopper Tra uh, person? Braid. Huh? Braid. Braid? Or are you talking about from... From Mario Galaxy, that one girl that, uh, looks kind of like Princess Peach, but has, like, the, the hair that goes over her eye? I think I know who you're talking about. I can't... Paulina? No, Paulina's from Mario Land. Actually, I know who you're talking about. Like, she has the universe under her skirt. Yeah, essentially. Which, you know, pretty much all women do. Hey you know what I'm But, uh, she's apparently, like, they went through all the evidence, and they were trying to say that she was definitely Peach's daughter, but they were trying to find out who her paternal lineage was. And at first they were going for the easy answer and saying it was Mario. But then there were a lot of different clues that would say that it was Luigi. Hey -o. And there was actually uh, there were actually lines removed from that ended up in the European version, but the American version of the game didn't get them that alluded more so to it being Luigi. Because like Peach and Mario are never actually an item. They're just friends. And uh, yeah, because I, I kind of catch on to that whenever. Which is kind of weird, because a lot of game theories, earlier theories, assumed that Peach and Mario were an item, and then they went with the... I think it's Princess Luna, maybe? Nah, I, I think... She has a name. She's in the new Smash Bros. Yeah, I can't remember her name at all. I've never I mean, played Galaxy. They, I'm just... they've, there have been a few very explicit lines saying that um, Bowser's kids are, are fucking peaches. Yeah. Which is fucked up. Yeah. To say the least. Well, a lot of that... By the is... way, Tiger died. Oh. He turned him into a carpet. Wow. Yeah. That is... His teeth are still cut. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you cut off somebody's teeth, they don't just grow back. They don't? No. I need to call a player. Um, Daniel, were you selling your teeth on the black market again? Not my teeth. Um. Oh, no, your teeth are still there. Mostly. Huh. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, the toothbrush isn't in the mirror. Okay, yeah. I forgot. He, he, he has a special relationship with his, uh... <laughs> oh, God. Aw, oh, he's got a teddy bear. I'm not ashamed to admit that I have a teddy bear. I have a stuffed turtle. His name is Jude. <laughs> and every time I see him, I say, hey, Jude. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. Oh, are we going to the desert level? What the boss on the desert level is awesome. Oh, that's definitely a snake. Yes. And that is... That is fucking creepy. Oh, yeah. He still got that goddamn no-no button on the outside of his pants. He's got his little sleepy pants with his no-no button. <laughs> We talk about not letting things go, and there's one. <laughs> Don't let it go. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, and now we're at a curtain. Intermission. Yeah. With the help of Kutura defeated the menace and saved a lucky few. You know, you don't have to... The, the narration's there, so you don't have to read it. Yes, but they come to our channel to hear me. <laughs> What, you think they give a shit about Gwar? I spent one episode talking about Gwar. That's not like my one trick pony actor. I'm like, hey, Odorous Urungus always talks about deli trays. That's funny, right? Huh? Huh? No, I don't fucking do that, so. I mean, you just did. Well, that was an example of a thing that I don't generally do. I could start doing that. I could start having, like, random Gwar facts of the day. Random Gwar fact of the day! <laughs> well? What? I'm not... I, it's not actually a bit we're gonna start doing, is well? it? Well? Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, they've had 26 musicians... No one can! Okay, go ahead. They've had a count of 26 musicians in the band, and that's just the principal band. Not counting uh, the Gwar women that have been through, the other the singers, women. such as uh, Sexecutioner and Bone Snapper and such. But yeah, between the principal five-person 
drummer to guitarist, bass player, and singer lineup, they have had 26 people switching in throughout. Look at that little fucker running around the background, just like, <laughs> doing shit. He's like, I don't even fucking care. I'm not on a quest to save the moon. Fuck you! I'm chasing squirrels. <laughs> Well, that kind of ruined the joke the subtitle did. Well, because I kind of knew. You're not supposed to play it with subtitles. That's why they're automatically off. All right. But unfortunately, there are those among us who cannot hear. Right. Oh, did I? I probably have never talked about this on the show, but um, my favorite place to go get food in Korea was this little uh, street food place. Where it was owned by this family of deaf people, I, or maybe it was like a, uh, I don't know if they were a family, but like this group of deaf people all worked there, and they made these uh, waffles, Tim, street waffles, Yeah. and they would put this, uh, the, a little bit of like very creamy butter on it, Right. and uh, this, this syrup that tasted exactly like, I shit you not, crunch berries. Mm. They were so good. Okay. What the fuck? Shh, just take it in. No! Take it in. That, that's take kind of... In. That is kind of creepy. With the fucking... The speech impediment that they all seem to, to share. <laughs> I mean, look at the tree on the left! He looks fucking retarded! <laughs> oh god! I wanna hug him! <laughs> He's like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just happy to be included, guys. Well, he knows the words, so he has How do you know? He's just flapping his gums. <laughs> Hey, apparently she agrees with you. This shit's this shit's B, yo. Yeah. Well, this I like how the trees are still smiling. They're just like whatever. I'm completely transferring. That's not look exactly. At the, look at the bunny. It's getting taken away by the bird. <laughs> I love this game so much. That's not exactly something that that would have conveyed to me, if you know what I'm saying. Trustworthy, huh? <laughs> 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 The princess of the sun is here. Princess, princess. Oh Tim's God. gonna beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Only where the bruises don't show. Mushroom hat! Penis hat! <laughs> you told me there wasn't a penis in this game. Oh my God, Tim. What? He's gonna eat a mushroom? And die. <laughs> Is that a is that a general is that a general ribbing at Mario? Uh, maybe. This is the type of mushroom that the uh, the mushroom from Mario is based on. Yeah, which is known if you eat it. Whoa! <laughs> That's the boss of the level. All right. Um, the um, the mushroom that you get in Mario, what it's based on. If you eat it, you often have hallucinations of everything in the world either getting bigger or smaller. Right. It's not necessarily, it's not necessarily everything's going to appear smaller so you get bigger, but that's why Mario gets huge when he eats them. Yeah. Because he's not. The world is just getting smaller. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of funny things in early games like that. Like the, Hold on, uh, wait. What? This is really sad. Oh, okay. She eats her babies! Wow. Yeah. That was fucking weird, and she has a flypaper tongue. Like, a literal flypaper tongue. No, actually, I think it's a uh, scroll. Oh. It could be a flypaper tongue. That would be even better than what I thought. Okay. But I think it's a scroll. Right. Oh, no. I was going to talk about something, but I don't remember what it was, so... <laughs> Um, something about early games have a lot of something. Oh, yeah, 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 Uh, like the, the power gauntlet in the original Legend of Zelda. Do you know what that was based off of? Uh, I feel like I do, but go ahead and tell me. It was this weird little bracelet that some, I, some, uh, I think Bodybuilder was trying to sell. It was just like a bracelet, but it supposedly helped you center your strength and shit. I, I don't remember all the details about it, but all I know is it was based off of something that was complete and utter bullshit, but it worked in the game. Nice. And then there was another thing like in a Castlevania game. Actually, Symphony of the Night, I think. You found a strange device that allowed you to breathe underwater, 
And it was uh, one of those things that scuba divers use. A rebreather? No, not the rebreather, but the, the th not really scuba divers, but somebody that's like swimming and put their head under. It's like snorkel? the tube. Snorkel, that's it, yeah. It was just a fucking snorkel. But anyway, um, we're going to talk about something a lot more interesting next time on Sharpest Hammers in the Tool Shed. Damn, I have cancer. I have a cancer, boss. <laughs>